Hey everyone, it's Mickey Made It, and I'm excited to introduce you to Inspired by Dreams, my preppy streetwear brand. See, this line is all about blending the classic and the contemporary, bringing you stylish pieces that are unique as your dreams. So whether you're hitting the streets or just chilling out with your friends, our collection offers the perfect mix of sophistication and urban edge. Join us in redefining streetwear fashion and let your style be inspired by dreams. Check out our latest collection and become part of the dream today. The following video contains discussions of domestic violence, which some viewers may find distressing. Viewer discretion is advised. If you or someone you know is in immediate danger, please call 911. For support and resources, contact the National Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-799-SAFE-7233. So it's 1-800-799-7233. Greetings, greetings all my dreamers and dreamers. It's your boy, Mickey Fenty, a.k.a. Mickey Made If you're new to this channel, if you want to be to this channel, subscribe right now. And if you want to support my brand, I'm a fashion designer out of New York City. It's inspiredbydreams.shop. And I got the latest from hoodies, t-shirts, snapbacks, crop tops. You know I keep you trippy. So check me out, support the brand. You know it's hard out here in these YouTube streets. Before we start this episode, I need you guys to send some healing energy out to Vitilago Goddesses. And I'm gonna put her YouTube um, page up there so you guys can go send her some healing energy, subscribe to her channel, and just the braveness and just that, the heart to step up and tell your story. I applaud that and you guys should too and just respect her story, respect her channel and just hear it out. I came across this video and I just could not stop thinking about it and I said, you know what, I'm going to do a reaction on it. A lot of people dealing with domestic violence out there, they're not famous and they don't have these um, all these eyes on them that they can have the backup from the people because there's some people have small followings but going through big problems. So I just want to get this story out to you guys and send some healing energy out to her and let's just take a look at her story listen when it's time to leave a person alone you must leave them alone my face is as you can see I don't even I can't even recognize my face um this is what happened when you do not leave a narcissist alone um he didn't necessarily do this this was his family his mom and his sister. And he probably took a lick or two into, you know, he's, he, he, he does things like that as well. One more thing I just wanted to add in there, you know, don't start blaming yourself, queen. Ain't nobody supposed to, not, nobody's supposed to put their hands in you. It's this toxic energy going around that people feel like they lash out and the things that they may have been hurt in the past, they, they carry this hurt people, hurt people energy on and in, in turn they end up hurting the people they love. So don't think anything is your fault or just because um, he might have got his peoples or another person to beat on you. All of this includes in the same thing, domestic violence. So I'm glad that you know you at least, you, you identified that there, it is a problem. That's a good thing, but you have to understand, don't start blaming yourself. Um, um, he didn't necessarily do this. This was his family, his mom and his sister. And he probably took a lick or two into, you know, he's, he, he does things like that as well. Um, all because I didn't want him to go through my phone. Um, we're not together. I don't have to allow you to go through my phone. I don't have to allow you to do anything. You do you and I'm doing me. You know, I still had love for him to some degree. So I used to I come, you know, come back around him from time to time. But overall, the love is truthfully not there because um, he really don't know what it is. Um, his mom really didn't install anything, not much of nothing into him because he really didn't receive it from her. His mom is narcissistic. But one, I don't care if you feel like just because you're not attached to this person because they're not a celebrity or they might not be like a person that you might not know, just know that they're a human being and human beings are not supposed to be treated that way. Just because they're not popular might not have the biggest of following doesn't mean that they're not going through these situations. It's just sad out there. People are taking their hurt out on people and the only place sometimes, the safest place sometimes to reach out to is social media. Sometimes social media can be a, help, a helpful thing for you too, especially in these situations. 
overall the love is truthfully not there because um, he really don't know what it is. Um, his mom really didn't install anything, not much of nothing into him because he really didn't receive it from her. His mom is narcissistic um, and a couple of her kids are, including the son that I dated, um, don't take ownership for anything. Um, it just literally dish and inflict pain onto others and um, just messed up individuals all together. Um, I knew I was supposed to bend leave him from the beginning um, when, you know, everything went left the first time when his mom didn't like me. She didn't barely knew me. Don't like her. Don't bring her around my house. So she had that type of attitude. And, um, you know, I told him, I said, look, if your family don't like me, it's going to be pointless for us to even be in a relationship. It's pointless. He's like, no, it's not pointless. I still want you to be around. I still love you, care for you. And remember, this is all early in a relationship. Like, that's somebody's mother. That's somebody's sister. That's somebody. Nah, nah, nah. That's somebody, like, family. Don't. Ship. It's pointless. He's like, no, it's not pointless. I still want you to be around. I still love you, care for you. And remember, this is all early in a relationship. You know, I didn't realize I was with a narcissist at first. I thought I was with a man who wanted to fight for me. Mm -mm. He wanted to fight off his convenience, his comfortability, um, off of, okay, what rush she give me? She give me the rush for, um, you know, listening to me, being there for me, you know, being that comfy blanket, being that new supply I was to him at that time. Um, she had materialistic things. Well, maybe I can hopefully use her for her car. Maybe I can use her for this. So they have narcissistic individuals already have it in their head what you're there for. Um, which he didn't get much of that. Um, barely ever did anything for him financially. Um, but again, I served some type of form of great purpose for him to still keep me around, right? Um, so, you know, within a six-month relationship, things... People be thinking it's a game out here, but let me tell you, there's so many females out there that's going through domestic violence, and even males the same. It's not just females, it's males too that's going through domestic violence. And people don't know how to, know where to run to, know where to turn to, because they're so, so much surrounded by people who think that this is just a normal way of living. This is not a normal way of living. And this is the reason why before, without social media, it was so hard for people, it's so much easier for people to hide in these spaces, in these corners, and this hurt just, it, it grows. It grows it grows but I'm glad that social media hit, is here to help people just let you know, let the pain out and let people tell you and other people that been through those situations lead you to another way of getting yourself out of this type of thing because it's sad that there's a lot of people going through this domestic violence is a real thing mental health is a real thing and trauma is even realer more and more left um, and then um, you know the final straws just kept coming it's, every time I look up, it's a fine crawl. And um, went back around him for this last time and went through my phone. Well, tried to go through my phone again. Didn't get that. That didn't go successful. So he broke it. Then he called his sister, his sister and mom outside. Come whip her ass for me. Now, this is the same sister who didn't even hit him with a hammer. It's the same devilish sister who don't even like him. So this is just a family cycle filled with devilish, hateful, malice individuals um, who literally, again, enjoy seeing pain brought into others, inflicted on others. Um, they live their whole life in chaos 24-7, literally. And, um, and that's the reason why his spirit always be down. And, you know, I, I've always been that person to try to bring it back up. Um, his sister literally hit me in the head about four to five times with a gun. His mom, like they, they just, they, they did me so wrong last night. And um, when it's time to leave, leave. Look, when it comes to domestic violence, when it comes to you just finding yourself a partner, you have to find people that mostly gel with you and people that you can, you can love for them being themselves. 
a lot of people are, they, they have anger issues depression and it caught, puts people in the state where they feel like lashing out or hitting somebody is gonna is gonna strike a demand on that person and they're gonna just turn around and be the same person when you put your hands on somebody and you, you and you hurt somebody they'll never ever 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 love you the same like they once loved you for the first time so until next time it's your boy Mickey made it um, I hope you guys um you know could maybe send some healing energy out to her channel i'll leave her link down below and love you guys and i'll see you guys tomorrow 